Whenever I introduce the concept of right brain education to parents, the first two most common questions they asked are, what is right brain education and why is it called right brain education? The best way to answer this is to first understand how the human brain works. The human brain is divided into two hemispheres and research conducted by American neuropsychologist, neurobiologist Dr. Rogers Perry shows that these two hemispheres have different characteristics. This research is known as the split brain theory and won the 1981 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. So what are the characteristics of each hemisphere? The left hemisphere controls language, facilitates logical reasoning, stores short-term memory, processes limited amounts of information slowly and methodically, works well under stress, and requires focus. Whereas the right hemisphere controls emotions, facilitates creativity, stores long-term memory, processes an unlimited amount of information rapidly, works well when relaxed, and likes play and movement. So what is the connection of this research to right brain education? Nowadays, we have access to powerful brain imaging technologies that allows us to look into the brain and help us understand how it works. Using these amazing technologies, studies have shown that the right hemisphere is dominant in human infants until three years of age or until the time that they start to develop their verbal skills and logical thinking, which for some children could take place around four to six years of age. Knowing this means that we can now change the way we teach our young children. Without this knowledge, parents have the tendency to make these mistakes. They teach their children in a slow and methodical manner, thinking that they can only process one piece of data at a time. They want their children to focus, creating stress for both parties, or they wait until the child is older before they teach them. And though the intentions are good, these are clearly not the right brain-friendly way of teaching. This is the stage where their brain processes unlimited amount of information rapidly, so we should take advantage of this time by exposing them to a wide variety of encyclopedic knowledge instead of just teaching them ABCs or one, two, three. This way, we can take advantage of their sponge-like absorbent brain. This is the stage where we have to be creative by teaching them in a playful and fast-paced manner and making sure that they are happy, relaxed, and engaged. Of course, it needs a lot of patience, creativity, and the right resources to make all these things happen. That is why Learn and Play Right Brain Education is here to work hand in hand with parents and make sure that our children get the best right brain education that they deserve. We need to take advantage of this very precious time where their brain is developing rapidly with over 1 million synapses being created per second. If you want to learn more about right brain education, then check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe and be updated with more videos like this. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video.